right, here we go. It is opening day, finally. October 1st here in Iowa. That's the good news, the bad news. It's 90 degrees and near record-breaking heat, so never fun to hunt in that type of weather, but nonetheless, it does feel good to be back. You know I couldn't sit it out even though the weather's not ideal. Just wanted to get back to the swing of things and get back up in a tree. Actually did a full hanging hunt tonight. Really just coming in to try to uh, get a shot at Adele and get one knocked down early. Uh, I came to a spot where hopefully even with the warm temps they'll still move in daylight. Pretty close to bedding in here. A lot of oaks uh, dropping acorns right now. It's just a ton of them in this spot, and then it's kind of broken up by this clover lane that kind of runs perpendicular, so cool little setup. Never really hunted this spot before, so wanted to come try it out, but man, it feels good. The bad part about these type of setups, obviously this time of year, shooting lanes are pretty limited, so I'm always going to need them to dang near be in the clover for me to shoot them but I'm just looking forward to enjoying the evening gonna sit back and just celebrate the fact that it's hunting season again so we'll see how it goes Well, that happened quick. Nothing, 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 and then bam, just like that, two does down. I could see them for a while, just their legs. They were down here to my right. 
when they finally broke, they came quick. I had one little window before she got past and into the thick cover again. I shot her, she ran back here, and I was facing this way, waiting to hear her fall. Turned around, another one's coming right to the same spot. And I shot both of them, probably five yards apart. And the second one's laying 30 yards behind the tree. You can see her white belly. Heck of a way to finish opening night. All right, well, I'm glad it's not still 90 degrees, but it's hot enough. I uh, got both of those loaded up in the truck, ready to go home and uh, get something to drink and get to work. Um, but man, fun night in the stand that first. First doe, she's an absolute monster. I don't know if I've ever shot a bigger doe. She is huge. I'm going to cut the teeth out of her and have her age just for fun. But man, she was about all I could handle. Uh, you know, I enjoy hunting by myself, but these are the nights where having a cameraman or, or someone to have a hand and loading these things would be helpful. Uh, but I got them in, and uh, like I said, fun night. I decided to try uh, kind of that first person view with uh, the second angle camera, so you guys have to let me know what you think. I just thought it'd be something different. Uh, not sure how it turned out until I go home and look at the footage, um, but that'd be kind of cool to try something different on the footage. But uh, I'm gonna get out of here and get to work and looking forward to the next hunt.